Hey, thanks for clicking. This is Rocky here with my movie review of the recently released Avengers Age of Ultron, directed by Joss Whedon. Okay, so we finally get to see our Avengers together again as Marvel begins winding down their Phase 2 movies. The original Avengers movie was about bringing the team together, and Age of Ultron is about the team growing both internally and externally. We see our heroes each go through their own crucible, and throughout the movie we're wondering if they will make it through to the other side. I personally found the movie very engaging from the moment it started to the very end. There are a few moments that I thought would take me out of the movie, but instead they actually pulled me in more. The writing was amazing, and the cast was definitely up for the challenge. We get some amazing visuals, and I found all the CG work pretty seamless. They pick some great locations that really match the tone of the script. The movie goes from comedic moments to some darker moments, but keeps a good balance of both. This can be very hard to do as it's easy to go full dark and lose out on some of the comedic aspects of a movie. I wanted to mention this in particular as I've heard quite a few people complain about the amount of comedic moments as well as one-liners and things like that. In my mind, these moments were needed to even out all the dark and challenging moments the Avengers were going through. Due to some manipulations, our heroes have to face their nightmares and conquer the regrets of their past and doubts about their future. I am a massive fan of character development and we get loads of that in Age of Ultron. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about some of the new faces we see in the movie. Andy Serkis portrays Ulysses Claw, and while he does have a few good moments on screen, he's mostly used to kind of set up some future events in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Serkis is one of those rare actors that can fully become whatever character he has to, meaning that while you see him on screen, Serkis disappears and only the character remains. And no, I'm not just saying that because most of his characters end up being digital. Aaron Taylor Johnson gives us an interesting look at Pietro Maximoff, also known as Quicksilver. Honestly, Aaron had it tough coming into this movie as the Quicksilver character was previously used in the X-Men Days of Future Past movie. However, Aaron's Quicksilver is completely different, so there's really no competition between the two as each offer a unique expression of the character itself. The effects for his super speed look pretty cool, and I really like the fact that using his powers actually wore him out. He has a lot of attitude, but this is mostly due to the darkness the character was created from. Elizabeth Olsen went above and beyond as Wanda Maximoff, as she goes from creepy to adorable throughout the whole movie. One of her abilities is she can affect the minds of others, but you get a strong sense that her mind might be a bit shattered as well. She has a strong connection to her brother, and this grounds her character a bit, which is important. She had great film presence, and I mean honestly, we could use a lot more superpowered women in these movies, right? Wanda really grows as a character in this movie, and I found myself wrapped up in her story. She has a large amount of power and makes liberal use of it throughout the movie. While trying to keep her powers somewhat grounded in reality, they still allow her to let loose. This is one aspect of the Marvel movies that I really enjoy, as they don't tend to power down or nerf their characters that much. James Spader is incredible as Ultron. He gives the menacing AI a confused, childlike personality. Even at his darkest, there's a bit of naive innocence about him. For the most part, he is pure in his intent to protect the world from people. We see glimpses of his petulantness as he's compared to Tony, and he wants to be seen as an individual. Similar to the way a child does not want to be compared to their parent. He shares aspects of Stark's and Banner's personality, and I really enjoyed hearing Spader add these aspects to his dialogue. As Ultron evolves his body, we also see his personality evolve into more madness and fear. Ultron is a powerhouse and like in the comics is more than a match for any single member of the Avengers. For me, the standout performance of the movie goes to Paul Bettany as Vision. We have heard his voice as Jarvis since the Marvel Cinematic Universe began with Iron Man but now we get to see him in action. Bettany gives Vision a smooth and relaxing tone. Even when he's fighting, he still keeps calm and focused. He gets some amazing interactions with the other Avengers, and his presence just feels natural, as technically Jarvis has always been a part of the Avengers. He is incredibly powerful, but he's respectful of that power, and I don't see him abusing it. Pretty sure when Vision first appeared on the screen, my jaw dropped, and even though they made some changes to the character, I still really liked what they put on the screen. Again, his scenes were some of the best in the movie, and that's saying a lot because this movie is filled with great moments. 
So if you still can't tell, I really loved Avengers Age of Ultron. Marvel continues to grow their cinematic universe on both the big screen and small screen. What started off as an ambitious idea has now become a pretty sound business plan and we fans get the payoff of great movies. Now don't get me wrong, there's some moments in the movie that I did not like, but overall I found Avengers Age of Ultron to be far superior to the original Avengers movie. So for Age of Ultron, I'm saying it is super sweet, which is my way of saying it is a 5 out of 5, and I encourage you to go check it out right now, and if you've already seen it, go check it out again, because the movie is just that freaking good. Alright guys, those are my thoughts on Avengers Age of Ultron. Go and let me know down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. If you want to talk about anything in uh, spoiler territory, just put some type of tag on there so people can avoid that. But I'll be more than happy to discuss any part of the movie with you guys down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this review, I'd ask you to go ahead and pound that like button. And definitely subscribe to my channel, that way you can receive an alert when I post my next video. And if you have subscribed already, thank you so very much. I really appreciate you coming on board, and I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Alright guys, all that being said, I hope everyone has a great rest of your day now. Bye!